Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, with four office locations and appointments 365 days a year, is committed to providing quality health care to children and families in Southern Indiana. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, and by WTIU members. Thank you. Thanks for joining us, guys. Remember to live, learn, and play the Friday Zone way. See you here next week. Oh, Maddie, Maddie, well, <laughs> We are so adorable. We're, we're supposed to say that at the end of the show. Oh, she's new. Friday, Friday. The week is done and it's time for fun. There's room for everyone in the Fridays. There's so much to see. Who will we meet? It all happens magically. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everyone. I'm Maddie. And I'm Taylor. <laughs> this week's show is all about games. That's right, and we're going to start things off with our guest, Stephen, who is the host of the popular gaming podcast, The Spiel. <laughs> Stephen, thanks Hi, for coming in. Nice, Great to meet, to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Oh my God, we have so many games. Yeah, I don't know where to sit. Let's let me move. I'm going to hold it. Monster Fall. What is this? Something about all right, so you host uh, this podcast. Uh, did I say it right? Yes. Yeah. The Spiel? The Spiel, yes. Yeah. It's and that's a, German, right? Yeah, it's German for either to play or game. Uh, so it's a show about games and the people who love them. We talk about all kinds of board games from, from around the world. Most people, you know, think of Monopoly or Shoots right, and Ladders right. and those kind of games, but I think you can kind of see. We have a plethora yeah, of games right here with games. us. That doesn't even begin to cover, you know, what, what's out there in the world, and that's, exactly. what we, that's what we try to do. Right, and so you make games. Uh, no, we don't make, games. Don't make we, games. We actually review games. We review gotcha, games gotcha, and play gotcha, games, gotcha. and then try to just expose people to kind of open the door to this okay. wider world of games to people. But we also make films That's about about of. games, yes. about games as well. So and, and can you tell us about that? This is a documentary that you made. Yes, yes. We traveled to Germany last year to do a uh, documentary cool. about how board games are actually put together. So finding out all the different. Uh, people and okay. jobs that are involved. Uh, the the place was called Ludofact, uh -huh. uh, and they are the second largest manufacturer of board games in the entire world. They do millions and millions of board games. They have sort of warehouses the size of like Indiana Jones, full of games wow. that are just amazing that they ship all over the world. They gave us an all access pass, and we got to to learn Ooh. about all the different things that go That's into making awesome. games. So, what's the first thing you start with then when you're making a game? Well, one of the the first thing that you want to do is actually the artwork and the the printing that goes okay. in into the okay. games. Um, that's involved in whether you're doing cards or boards okay. or the tokens. Let's talk about the boards. Can we look at the board of this yeah. one? Yeah, sure. What so, is this one? So this one is Transamerica. Okay. Uh, it is uh, a train game. Okay. So this Ooh, one this one is set cool. in uh, the United States. So mm -hmm. the, the board is actually a map. Okay, and we have some, uh, oh, some yes. footage right yes, here. Yes, we have some oh, footage yeah. here. So you can actually see, as I said, the artwork uh, starts out, that's what's on the little paper okay. is on the conveyor belt, and then you can uh -huh. see there's a cardboard piece right. that it forms kind of the sandwich. That's the middle part of the sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's glue, that, that right that, that's the bags of glue oh. that are used to, to glue the paper on. It's, okay. it's sort of vacuum form sealed onto uh, each side. So there you can see the uh, bottom part is the artwork and the top part is one part of the board. Uh -huh. Now it's going to flip the board over, so that's the windmill. It flips the oh, board over, and then they have cool. to put a backing on the board so that the board doesn't bow. So the right. backs of all the board games, it's really kind of boring, it's just plain, right. but it has but paper on the back yeah. to make sure that the board doesn't bow. So okay. once, once both sides have been sandwiched together like that, then it has to dry for a certain amount of time. But all this happens in the, the flash of an eye. This is yeah. all real time that you're watching. And how many boards are they making? In an hour, they can make as many as 1,500. 
boards oh. in an hour. So. so that's boards. What about uh, tokens? So tokens, it's a very similar process. Mm -hmm. Instead of making something that's flat to uh, actually lay on the table, you have tokens that go into a game, just pieces or things. Okay, uh, like we have right yeah, here. Yeah, like we have right here, okay. and that you would punch out when the game right. game is done. Okay. There's a special tool that is made after, so it's made sort of like a board uh -huh. for a board game. Right. But then there's a tool with little metal sort of cutouts, like a, almost like a cookie cutter. Okay. Yeah. That goes ka-chunk ka and punches oh. out ka -ka -ka almost, almost all of the pieces. So here we see some of the tools for all the different sorts of games that and are made, and those are the little sort of cookie cutter pieces. And do they have to design different cookie cutters there's for a, different there's games? There's a special one, and it's thousands of euros, which translates to even more dollars for oh. every single one of those wow. boards. You can see they keep a library on hand yeah. of those things. There's like millions of dollars just in making those little cookie yeah. cutter things. Do we have an example of one of those um, with us right now? Let's see, There's I can so pro options. probably find, let's see, this one probably has. Okay. Flashpoint. Flashpoint, cool. this is a uh, fire fighting cool. game Ooh. here, if you can see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Saving people from burning buildings. Mm. And uh, <laughs> skilled all, all of the tokens are already punched out, okay. of course, yeah, in these. these are... But these are the these would be the counters cool. that uh, they have to make individual for yeah. each one, and they're all handmade. Okay. A single person, they, they're not well made uh, by machines, so a person actually has to make that yeah. little cookie cutter part. What about cards? I know cards are an important part of a board game. Cards are an important part, too, so they all, it always comes back to the art. Yep. The interesting thing about the uh, card games uh, you can see here okay. is that there are uh, six or seven different printing presses. So, so these aren't made like the boards and the tokens? No, no, because they're all paper instead of cardboard. We don't have okay. to worry about that sandwich in between. The main thing is that there's a printing plate that has the artwork, and, but the artwork is separated into each of the six different colors. So one printing press puts the yellow on. One puts the blue on, and so eventually you sort of stack those colors together, and that's how you end up with the oh. final, the final artwork. And then, of course, all the cards have to be cut into individual cards. So it's made on one big giant sheet of cardstock, and then it's sent through a machine really fast with knives on it that cuts them into strips first, and then cuts them into uh, uh, individual cards second. That's awesome. That's so yeah, look at really, that. This is, the, this is definitely the most really spectacular now, how machine. How many cards are they making? Oh gosh, they make, <laughs> I, mean, a, I don't even know, thousands yeah, and hundreds and yeah, thousands yeah, yeah. of cards. They come off the line so quickly. Right. So, okay, we've got boards, tokens, cards. What about the boxes that the, these things come in? Like, so, what the, about these things? the boxes, it's, it's funny how they all start out very similarly. So, we have the artwork, right? And we have a flat piece of paper, a flat uh -huh. piece of cardboard. This is a game called Monster Falla <laughs> yeah. here. Um, the art has to be cut first so okay. that you can corner, so that the corners of the boxes will actually fit right. so that they don't fray or, or tear away. Okay. Okay. Once they've been cut, then it's married up with a piece of cardboard that's cut in a kind of roughly box shape, but it's flat. So of course, once, once it's flattened out, you have to actually make it into a box. So there's this intricate folding machine that uh, will uh, Fold it into an actual box. Cool. Wow, that's awesome! Cool. Well, this is so cool. I've never, I've never known how games were actually put together yeah. and made, and now we do. Can we? Uh... What's your favorite game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, I get that question asked so many times. Really, it'll sound like a dodge, but it really isn't. The most fun game is the game for the right people at the time. Right. So, yeah. you know, the, my favorite game that I might play with my nieces and nephews is going to be yeah. different than a game I might play right. with and my dad. Yeah, do you have a website that we can check out? Yeah, absolutely. Thespiel.net. We have audio Spiel. programming for six years. We have you can watch our documentary. Cool. We do coverage from game conventions around the world. I'm cool. getting ready to go to uh, Essen, Germany. Awesome. Wow. To uh, give uh, uh, coverage from cool. the game fair. Very. That's soon. awesome. Thank you so much, Stephen. Can we? Uh, let's go play a game. Yeah, let's, let's play, play a game. game. I want to play this cool. one. The painting. <laughs> okay. In the Friday's Hello, my name is Sam Bartlett, and today we have another stunt from the world of stuntology. Okay, this is a cool stunt. You know, you never need to be bored. All you need is a single tennis ball, and then you can practice one-handed juggling. I, I need someone to do this with me, though. Um, hey, uh, Cecilia, Cecilia, you back there? Come here, come on, come on, come on, come on. Cecilia, here is a great stunt. We used to do this when we were kids. You know, sometimes when you're hanging out, all you have is a ball, and you get sick of just throwing up a ball and catching it. So one of the, my favorite things to do, and one of the favorite maneuvers in my neighborhood was to do one-handed juggling. 
which is not to do this, not to do this, but to throw a ball over our shoulder and to catch it, which is really satisfying. Do you want to give it a shot? Go for it. Yeah, not bad. Try it again. All right, give, give it another shot. Give her a hand, everybody. Come on, show her some love. All right, here we go. Oh, hey. All right, good shot. You threw it to me. You didn't catch it, but I did catch it. It just takes a little bit of practice. And now, time for some fun with our friends from Comedy and Sports. All right, I'm Claire, that's Ed, and this is Allie, and I want Sydney and Willow to help us with this game. Come yeah. on up here, ladies. Woo. We're going to play the game of We Connect. It's kind of like a video game you might have played at home. Now, anytime Willow does a move, Ed is going to do a move with her. He cannot move until she does. So, uh, yep, if she turns around, Ed's got to turn around. Same thing with me and Sydney. So, Sydney, I can't move until you do, all right? Let's get a suggestion for this game. Oh, they are ready to play. I love it. I love it. Um, Joelle, where is a place you have always wanted to go on vacation, but you've never been? New York City. Oh, New York City, a very exciting place. So, Ed, are you ready for this game? I am ready. Let's play. Here we go. Oh, it's a beautiful day here in New York. Yeah, I guess so. A little hot. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a little nervous because, because I didn't bring my subway ticket with me. I, oh. I thought it was in my pocket, but I don't think it's here anymore. I may have a spare subway ticket. Oh, uh, ooh, I just have the one. Ah, oh, oh, maybe if we go uh, way over there, uh, we, we can buy a new one. We could because I've got one subway ticket yep. and money. Oh, oh, money helps. Uh, go on over there and get, oh. a, get a ticket okay. from the machine. Oh, we're, here we go. We're coming too. We're coming too. Wait for us. You know what? I'm going to stay here. I'm, I'm going to stay here. My I'm money's back. in the machine and <laughs> here's a ticket. I can't wait. I can't wait. Just explore New York City on the subway. Two oh, tickets. I can't. I can't grab. I can't. My hands are in my pockets. You have to put it in my pockets. <laughs> okay, I got my ticket. You've got yours. Uh huh. Now we can get on the subway. Let's go see the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty. I love the Statue of Liberty. It poses like this. I've never seen a Statue of Liberty just like that before. It's, oh okay. look, here comes the subway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we're coming. We're going to be late. We, Hurry up. And I'm scared. I'm scared. And jump. I'm trying, but I just don't think I have the courage. Oh, you can do it. Uh, you, you're no, jumping. No, no, you're jumping. jumping. We have to jump toward you. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Yay, oh, high five. We did it. High five. High five. High five. <laughs> just high five my head. It's fine. If I can get I don't my mind. hand up there, I'll high five. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and this is Felix, and today we're going to make cinnamon raisin crisps. Oh, that sounds delicious. It is what's, delicious. What's in that, Heather? Well, it's kind of like a cinnamon raisin toast, except when we're done, we're going to toast it and put some cream cheese and diced up apples on top. It's Ooh, really good. Oh, that sounds wonderful. It is wonderful. All you right. want to get started? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I found at my bakery this cinnamon raisin bread. I really oh. like it. It's swirly. Yeah. It has I, cinnamon. I like that. It smells yeah. really good. Yeah. Perfect combination with apples. Okay. And then we're going to cut shapes out if that's <gasps> okay with you. Oh, pick the dinosaur. You want yeah, the dinosaur? Yeah, the T-Rex. Yeah, I oh, like that one. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Okay. perfect. I think it should just fit. I like these plastic cookie cutters. They're not sharp. Yeah, you don't hurt yourself. Yeah, so just like when you play with dough, yeah. you just push the cookie cutter down, oh. and then while it's down, just kind of pick off the exterior crust. Okay. Really easy. Yeah. And it's okay if it doesn't come out looking yeah. perfect. And and then can you eat the extra? You can yeah. eat the extra. I'll okay. save it over here for <gasps> you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So here's our first piece. Okay, yeah. Looking oh. kind of like a dinosaur. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty close. Yeah, it all yeah, tastes yeah. the same. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to lay it right here on the rack of the toaster oven oh, okay. tray. Yeah. And will you want to go ahead and cut them all out? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. Let's do another yeah. one. Yeah, let's do a heart-shaped oh, one. Yeah. Oh. I didn't even ask you. I just went for the heart. Oh, because well, yeah, you, you're sweet. Yeah. Oh, we know that thank already. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're pretty a, sweet too, right? You are pretty yeah. sweet too, and you've yeah. been a great helper for me. Oh, thanks, Heather. I try really hard sometimes. You do. Okay. And here we have the heart. All right. You want to try this? What is this? What, is, it, is that the 
Is it that which one is that? I think it's a T Rex. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he'll fit. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. We might have to try another one. I don't think we can fit him on there. Let's oh, try the Stegosaurus again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that one. Do that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. this one. It turned out nicely. Yeah. So anyhow, you just cut whatever shape you want out of your bread. Okay. And if you don't want to be fun, you don't have to cut out the shapes. Uh, but I okay. think this but, is fun. But we, we like to be fun here. We do yeah, like yeah. to be fun. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to do oh. one more for me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like the dinosaurs are in love. <laughs> it is like the dinosaurs yeah. are in love. Okay. Okay. So we're going to toast this for about 30 seconds oh, until it's okay. just toasted. Okay. Not very long. Okay. okay. In, the, in the toaster oven? In the toaster okay. oven. Okay. Yeah. Oh, these are going to taste so good. They are going to be good. Just yeah. wait till you see what we put on top. Prehistoric even. They are prehistoric yeah. even. Yeah. Oh. Be careful. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. Hot. The, the hot. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now, you know what we're going to do now? What? I am going to put a little cream cheese on one of oh. these while it's still hot. Okay. I want you to try it while it's still warm. Okay. 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 I'll give you the heart. Oh. oh. There's one right there oh. for you. And I'm going to cut you up a little bit of apple. Oh. Do you put this that on top? Yeah. This is a healthy snack. Oh. Yeah. I forgot. Apples are healthy. They taste they so are. good, I forget that they are healthy. They are. They're yeah. a good, healthy snack. And yeah. these are perfect apples. They're very juicy. Yeah. So just a little bit on top. I like the green apples. The red one tastes good, but green is my favorite color. Oh, yes. Yeah. It is my favorite color, too. Yeah, just like your shirt. Just yeah. like my shirt. Yeah. And in this little bowl, I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar to sprinkle on the top. Just a little. Okay. We don't need that much. No, yeah. But I'm going to mix it together. Okay. Kind of like when you're making cinnamon toast oh. and you sprinkle a little cinnamon and sugar on the yeah. top. Yeah. It's very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, it just keeps smelling better and better. Oh, it's better. so good. And it yeah. kind of reminds me of fall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Fall, yeah. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. So we can. Eat them? You can. Oh, oh, can. Can I try a piece? And look how nice they are. Oh. They smell. They smell so good. What do you yeah. think of that? Is that good for you? Do you like it? Yeah, I like that one. Good. That's a good one. And that's a good one for you to make at home, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. You can write it down. Oh. Or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. In the Friday zone. Friday. Hey guys, joining us in the zone today is our good friend Stacy from the Wonder Lab. Stace, how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Pretty good. Good to see you. Hey, good Who to be with you. I have Jared here with us, and he's going to help us out with some games. Cool. Because that's what the show's all about today, right? That's exactly right. All right. So when you guys ask me to come, uh, you know, usually I blow things up or Catch. set things on fire. Yeah, or you potatoes, know. Potatoes, right. Something yeah. dangerous. And, uh, you know, not a lot of games involve that. So I, I, it was a bit challenging. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try a couple of games that you can play with paper and a pencil. And uh, you can play them in the car. Yep. You okay. could play them. You could draw them in the sand, in the dirt, anything. So you don't even Same need paper games. and a pencil. Okay. Um, so first one we're going to play is one called Don't Draw a Triangle. Okay, let's go over here. All right. All right. All right, I'm going to explain this to you guys. Okay. And you guys are going to play. I'll get out of the way. Um, so the game is called Don't Draw a Triangle. So what do we think the object of the game is? Jared? Hmm, I think it's to not draw something that has three points, which is a triangle. <laughs> nice. Excellent. All right, so right, Don't Draw a Triangle. And what we're going to do is start out with our game board. It's a, the corners of a hexagon, which is mm -hmm. a six-sided shape. And you're going to draw a line from one dot to the other. Okay. You can draw it from any dot to the other one. The only things are you cannot trace over their line. It has to be a new line. Okay. You can cross lines. You can cross lines. Yep. Okay. So you're going to go from one point to another. And the first person that ends up drawing a triangle using these dots as the points of the triangle in their color is the loser. Ooh. All right, you so the first lose, one Jared? that draws a triangle. Okay. All right, oh. you're going to be blue. Let's do this. You're going to be red. All right. All right. You go first, you go first. 
All right, she's going with that outside. I'm gonna go up top. Down low, okay, okay. And we'll just make this hexagon. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the next I get a little confused with all the yeah. lines and all the colors yep. here. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, it does take a lot of thinking, yep. a lot of planning ahead, some yep. strategy. Hmm. All right. What you got now, big guy? Who would have thought ah. math could be so exciting? And yet it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of going with the uh, whatever dot seems open strategy yeah. right now. And it depends who you're playing, too. Yeah. That's what's interesting about games like this, is yeah. that it depends who you're playing, it changes. Can't Your strategy this guy changes. Out right now. <laughs> Next move, Jerry. Ooh. You sure about that? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> oh man. Uh, I'm seeing red triangles everywhere. And there's the triangle. I knew it. <laughs> uh, dang it. All right. All right. All right. Hey. So yeah, as Good you can game. see. Oh. oh. <laughs> cool. Okay. You have another game All for right. us. All right. I do have another game okay. for you. And. I believe we've got it on here somewhere. Yeah, we'll just turn it right. off. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And throw it away. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is another game. It's called Bridges. Okay. Okay. It's another strategy game. Okay, cool. Problem cool. solving, thinking ahead. Yeah. Spatial things. Okay. And with this one, one of you is going to be O's, one of you is going to be X's. What Jared, do you be? what would you like to be? X's. You're going to be X's. Okay. Be the O's. So the X's are going to move from the left side of the board to the right. Okay. okay. You're going to be able to draw a line between your letters, one line, either going across that way or going down. Your object is to get across. Okay. And Taylor, you are going to be O as you want to go from the top to the bottom, doing the exact same thing. You can either go vertical, or I'm sorry, horizontal, or vertical. You cannot cross somebody else's line, though, in this case. So that's a block. That's a block. If, okay, so if yes. I had already come across here and he was coming down here, he'd have to take a turn there. So exactly. Okay. Do we both start here, or could I start here and he start... Uh, yeah, there a you can start point? anywhere. As long as you're up on this top line, you can start wherever you want to start. Okay. Okay? All right. So let's have uh, Taylor go first since you got to go first last time, okay? Yeah. All since, right. Uh, since I was Here we go. Losing. Game on. Okay. All right. Now, I'm wondering if there's a strategy with uh, going first or second. Or... I think with any any game like this, you depending on where you go, you're either going to be on the offensive or the defensive. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. all part of the strategy. Now your lines do have to connect. They have to connect. Okay. Yep. So one solid path so, yes. to find across. One path. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh. Jared, I think you duped me again. <laughs> I... He blocked me, right? Yep. He wins. Jared wins again. All right. All Good right. Game. Piece of cake. Good game. Oh, I got you that time. All right. Good game, Jared. Good game. So cool. Thanks a lot, Stacey. And you yeah. have uh, some more games, right? I do. I brought some, some really great math and science type games to show you. Cool. We'll go check those out on the couch right after this.
Hey, Dad, what's the difference between a dog and a basketball player? Well, I don't know, son. What's the difference? One rolls, the other dribbles. <laughs> In the Friday Zone. Friday. Hi, it's me, Bub. My favorite game is chasing bugs. And we're back with Stace on the couch, and she's got some more games. Stacy, yeah. can you uh, tell us about what you've got here? All right. So what I brought here is a number of different games that we have over at Wonder Lab. Okay. And some of these are things that you can do by yourself if you're home by yourself and you're bored, uh, looking to kill some time. And some of these are great for two players and for entire families, cool. all kids of all ages and their parents playing together. Cool. Um, What's this? Because yeah, we were talking about here. this one. We like, like this one, one the most. This is great. Yeah. Really popular. It's called a Find It Tube. It's almost like your own mini I Spy game. Okay. All in a tube. Yeah. This will keep you occupied for a really long time. See and of what, course, you just like draw a card you and you have to find that yeah. or something like that? Yep. Or? Yeah, there's cards that come with it and it has a list of things to find. So oh, it's on there too. And there's on a the list top. of everything cool. that's in there. So if you really want to challenge. And uh, then there's things like dominoes, but these are a, a different shaped domino. Ooh, look at that. So it, yeah, so it creates a whole new level. Twitter game. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Cool. And so uh, if we wanted to get these games, come to the Wonder Lab? Yep, or? come to the Wonder Lab gift shop. Okay. Um, and of course, there's always great things to do in the museum. But if you just want to come in the gift shop, you don't have to pay admission to come in and shop in the gift shop. Super fun stuff. And the website and again is? www.wonderlab.org. Guys, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Stacey, thank you so much for coming Thanks in today. Had a lot me. of fun playing games. And remember to live, learn, and play. The Friday's on the way. We'll see you here next week. All right, let's play Find It. Yes, right. yes, it's my favorite. Okay. Let's do it. All right, here, let's see. Uh, see if you can find a baseball. Baseball? <laughs> Is it a mini baseball? Oh, oh okay. wait. Oh, there, there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, you know that, you know that. Uh, butterfly. <laughs> what? Like a butterfly. What's the flower? Oh, okay. A butterfly's gonna be so, like, colorful. <laughs> It was blended. Well, let's find a blue. Yeah. I did that. Uh, blue. Oh, oh I got it. All right, let's do it. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, with four office locations and appointments 365 days a year, is committed to providing quality health care to children and families in Southern Indiana. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, and by WTIU members. Thank you. <laughs>